Hi, I'm Rob Tompkins, a product manager here at Solace. Today, I'm going to showcase a PubSub Plus capability called partition queues for you. Partition queues build off non-exclusive queues flexibility and scalability while ensuring events go to the right consumer, like Kafka consumer groups, but with added benefits. It allows you to horizontally scale consumers while also filtering and providing in-order delivery. I'll take you through an example to show you how it works. Let's imagine you have an online e-commerce platform that takes in orders. The publisher takes the order and validates it and then publishes it to one consumer on an exclusive queue for a synchronous backend processing. It starts out well and your orders continue to increase. Eventually, that one consumer application can't deal with the volume. You need to horizontally scale it, which is the whole point of a microservice deployment, right? Now, you could use Solus non-exclusive queues. Non-exclusive queues allow multiple consumers to connect to the same name queue, and it load balances the incoming events amongst those consumers. And that's a great solution when events are independent or all state is shared amongst the consumers through a cloud or database but sometimes the security, cost, or complexity of such a solution is too high. Let's say you can modify orders, and a customer modifies order number 22. With non-exclusive queues, that order could go to any consumer, so the chances are the same consumer will not be the one that handled the initial order. That doesn't work. You can't have two different consumers handling order number 22 out of order. We need something that not only does load out balancing, but is also context aware. Enter partition queues. Partition queues leverage a message header called a key. Hold on, what's a key? Well, a key determines your partitioning consumer. So messages with the exact same key go to the same partition and consumer. In this example, it's your order number, but for other use cases, it could be a transaction number, a flight number, account number, user, data set number, subject, channel, IP address, user, student, employee number, basically any context or combination of contexts. Back to our example. Now the event is published with an order number as the key. It could be a new order. It could be an update, a cancel, the Solus event broker routes it to a particular partition queue because the subscription on that queue matches the event that was produced. We then run that key through a hash function so that all the events related to order number 22 end up in the exact same partition. And that's what ensures the sequence is maintained. Each partition maps to one and only one consumer application. The consumer application instances are identical. Partition queues take care of all the mapping. So now you can horizontally scale your application with many consumers. Now, let's say Black Friday is approaching. You want to plan for temporary but unprecedented peak demand. We suggest adding auto-scaling like CNCF's open source Kubernetes event-driven auto-scaling or CADA to monitor demand and spin up and down consumers based on that demand. Partition queues dynamically accommodate the number of consumers bound to the partition queue. So now you have horizontal and dynamic scaling, and there's more. In addition, you have fast, intelligent rebalancing. Traffic only stops on partitions that are going to be rebalanced and only for a short time. All the others keep moving. In summary, partition queues on PubSub Plus provides filtering of events in order processing, dynamic consumer scaling, and intelligent fast rebalancing, all in one. You won't get that with any other solution.